Hi, and welcome to the Underton Overview. Underton is an audio suite plugin specifically designed to create textures in a fast and effective way using granular synthesis techniques. It has two main engines and you can switch between them from these buttons. Single is used to create constant textures and is so called because it uses only a single source to generate the flow. Just capture the source and render a coherent texture. The bottom sections allows you to manage the slots that contains the source material. You can add or remove them by pressing these buttons. The highlighted one is the selected, and you can switch to another one by left-clicking somewhere in its area. Next, you can find the slot name and the waveform thumbnail of the source material. By right-clicking on them, a pop-up menu shows some basic operation you can perform, like renaming the slot, copy the content to another one, clear the content or clear all the slots, and listen to the source material as it is. To do so, you need to enable the previous state of the AAX interface and simply click everywhere on the overlay to stop. This fader is used to adjust the global zoom of the waveforms and of course, it doesn't affect the volume of the sources. Tips are dynamically shown next to it in relation to the component under the mouse cursor. If you didn't get the desired result on the first render, you can adjust the parameters in the Underton's body to fit your needs. You can control how much randomly the grains differs from the original volume or pitch and the probability they spawn in reverse. This one is a mixer that allows you to balance your grain flow and a noise convolved signal, which is more stable, still coherent with the source material, but a way more unnatural. To get the best mix result, sometimes you will need to manually match the perceived volume of the grain flow and the convolver flow by adjusting their own master volume knobs. In the upper section, you can save and load tone files. You can customize the clip name, access the settings menu, switch to the mini view, which is just a version with less parameters showed, but still effective, and you can open the render history by clicking the arrow. Thanks to the render history, you can easily recall snapshots of the plugin automatically saved every time you render it. The new ones join the list from top, pushing down the others. They are named with an hour, minute, seconds code or with the clip name if customized. By right-clicking on a snapshot, you can rename it or you can pin to prevent it from going down the history. You can also clear the snapshot or clear the entire render history. Let's talk about the multi-engine. This engine is used to create complex textures or to have more control on the parameters while working with more dynamic sources. Here, all the slots are active at the same time. Underton produces a texture with the chosen number of grains, picking them from the slots, respecting their probability parameters. Like a pot full of ingredients, but in different amounts. There is also this control to make a slot unavailable after every grain picked until the chosen time has elapsed, and there is a solo button to isolate the slot produced output. Since all the slots are active, everyone has its own parameters, and the slot color matches the parameters color. In addition to the parameters we already saw in single, we can control the absolute level and pitch, the grain size in percentage related to the source material, and the envelope, still in percentage, which defines the attack and release of the grains picked from the slot. There is also this option to force every grain picked from the slot to start from the beginning of the source material. Finally, you can adjust the master level, which you can also link to the grains parameter, the spread that allows you to linearly scale the rendered output volume from the surrounds towards the center, and the option to prevent the LFA channel to be rendered. That's it. You will find more practical examples in the other tutorials. Bye, and thank you for your interest.